Okay, so this drone is a lot of fun to fly. It looks great. The only bummer is the lights. I wish the lights were just a little bit brighter. Um, you can see the green lights in the back. So, yeah, I mean, and then the lights in the front, you can see the lights in the front, but just barely. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record myself right now. I'm going to take a picture of myself. Okay, there's my uh, picture camera there. I'm going to wave. Yeah, I got my picture. Do it again. And you can also use your app to take a picture. I think. Yeah, see I used the app just now to take a picture. But I like how I can easily catch it. It takes a long time for it to stop spinning though, doesn't it? Look at that. Eventually it'll stop. How long does it take to stop? Interesting. Maybe because I have it on it. Hold on, let me turn the uh, recording off. Uh, maybe I did this. No, okay, okay, so there good. you go. All right, let's go ahead and do video now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do video. All right, we are now video videotaping ourselves. And here we go. Here comes the drone. <laughs> that was cool. Oh no. Hey guys, Tom Jordan here. This is the Holy Stone HS175. Alright, comes with a really nice case. I really like the case. Look at this. Isn't that nice? Nice little rubber handle. Has a nice feel. I like that it's all in there. Watch this. Open it up. First thing you see, the instructions. Which you need to read. But look at that nice turn, right? Now it comes with two batteries. One battery right there. And there's the other battery. I love how everything just plays in here. Got my controller. Look at this. This drone, this is the HS-175. Nice feeling drone. It has a nice quality feel. You open it up. Look, watch this, watch this. Isn't that cool? It locks into place like a, like a spring-loaded watch. Watch. Isn't that great? I love it. Okay, so look at nice little rubbery pads. You have your optical flow sensor at the bottom. It looks really good, and when it's flying, it looks, look at that, here, let me turn on. Isn't that cool? It looks great. Easy to use and set up. The instructions are very simple. I'm going to show you right now exactly how to calibrate your HS-175D, and we're going to take it for a flight. We're going to see all its features, its functions. Stick around. I'm Tommy Drone. This is the HS-175D review. We're starting right now, and instructions too. And it has a GPS where it follows you in GPS. And it can also follow you as well. So let's go ahead and try, and it also has circling mode too. But I want to try that follow me mode. I want to see if I can do that. So I've got my skateboard here. And we're going to see if it follows me. Okay, so the Holystone HS-175D actually has two types of tracking. It has a human tracking and a GPS tracking. And here I am. You'll see here, I'm getting the tracking. This is the GPS tracking that I just put together. And now I'm getting on the skateboard. And what the drone's going to do, it's following my phone or the controller. I guess it's following my phone because I had the phone connected to the drone through the Wi-Fi connection. And you'll notice here that I'm not in the shot. I'm adjusting the camera at this point. So I'm actually not flying the drone. I'm just skating. All I'm doing though is I'm looking down at my phone, at my screen, and I'm adjusting the camera up so that it can get me into view. And as you see here, the drone is following. Again, I am not controlling the drone. This is the GPS tracking feature on the drone. So the drone has two features for follow me. It has a follow me where it can take an image, your image, and you put your little notation, your little square uh, on your phone which I'll show you that later on in this video, and then has GPS tracking. In this video here, I'm using the GPS tracking. I did have the drone up pretty high, well above the trees, as you can see here, but where I'm really impressed is the signal from the drone to my phone, that's a pretty far signal for Wi-Fi, and I'm impressed, and you can see here, I'm skating out pretty far out in front of the drone the drone's keeping up 
and you'll see right here I'm gonna to get to the end of the path which is right in the middle of my neighborhood now here's what's really interesting to me I stop again I'm not controlling the drone at all this is the drone doing everything on its own now I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna start heading back to where I just came from notice what the drones doing again I'm not doing this the drone on its own it's turning around to view me and there they're gonna see me in just a second and I think I may have adjusted the camera one last time I don't remember I think or whatever but anyway the drone just turned around it did that all on its own without me I was not controlling the drone again this is the drone it's following me and look how well it's going so I'm really impressed I think this GPS tracking feature is is a fantastic feature um, and this is a tr tremendous testament to just the technology and how far we've come I mean the GPS follow me really really works we know that the return to home feature works I've tested all the features some of the features that this also has it can do a circle fly application which you're gonna see in just a moment it has a flight time of 40 minutes and I'm just again a GPS auto return a 5G FPV transmission transmission and I was able to see the drone the whole time now look at here you don't see me anymore right any other kind of following mode a drone you'll you know it wants to see you in the visual sight you don't see me right not at all but look here you're about to see me emerge from over the trees there I am you see me so here I'm emerging out from where I disappeared the drone is still coming right along this GPS tracking feature of the HS 175D drone this Holy Stone drone is a really impressive drone the reason the camera is so shaky two reasons number one I did crash the drone while filming this video and I think I may have hurt the blade so I think that's one reason why I was shaky the other reason is it was extremely windy uh, on this day that I'm flying just a windy day to be flying but impressive quality and the video looks good to me so I'm very impressed with the film quality that's coming out of this drone too so this is full speed right here guys so at full speed you can see it's flying pretty nice that's full speed this is a lot of fun and I am outside it's a windy day um, it's not gonna stop on the dime so watch right now we're gonna go down and I'm gonna go back stop and see how it just keeps going a little bit go forward and it keeps on going so it's not going to stop on the dime but it's still and it does appear to be if you notice here see how there's a small delay in what I'm telling you to do watch see interesting so there does appear to be oh not good huh all righty let's take a look here Ooh. all right foam look at that whoa 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 okay all righty here here's our tiny little drone this is the hs175 tiny little thing nicely wrapped up oh it's so cute oh it's a little baby oh good little baby okay all right that's please raise about 15 meters first so i have to go about 15 meters for it to circle so it's going up Okay, so we're going up. I guess that's 15 meters. We'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and try it now. A circle. Circle move. And there we go. It looks like it's circling now. Do you see it going up? I don't know if it is or not, actually. Let me see. Round. I told it to go around. But it's not doing it. Unable to fly. Oh, I have to go higher. I'm not high enough. All right, I'm going higher now. Now it's windy out here and it's doing a pretty good job of holding that wind. It's doing a good job. Look at that. All right, let's try it again. Let's try the circle mode. And oh there we go. Maybe that'll maybe that's it. Turn the camera down. There I am. There we go. Okay, and let's try that circle mode again. Oh so I'm still not high enough. Alright, we go even higher now. Alright, confirm. And let's see. Oh, look, there it goes. It's it's doing a circle move now. See how it's going around? Look at that. So it's going in a circle. Oh, that's neat. That's kind of cool. Hopefully it doesn't hit my house. 
seems to be going down a little bit. Alright. That's kind of cool, it worked. Alright, let's put it back then. So, I'd like to cancel that circle mode and have it come back to me. And I'm losing control. Alright. if it's because of the wind it's still going in circle mode all right it did it the circle mode didn't seem to stop i don't know if i had to hit circle mode stop or something like that maybe i had to hit stop i would have thought if i hit the controller it would have stopped the circle mode by, by default there's our camera or, yeah pretty nice huh all right okay we got a little oh okay a little red thing to keep it from going in all the way nice that's gonna turn on Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Nice. All right, put that there for the time being. And see what else we got here. We have an extra battery. 7.6 volt, 1700 mAh battery. Impressive. Here's your controller, your charger. Something I've noticed though is the uh, phone just barely fits into that hole. Look at that. That's a uh, Note 9 that I have here. Just fit. So here we have our ch charging for the. Um, Battery. Battery just kind of slides right in. We landing in. Come here for a landing. Come here for a landing. <laughs> Docked. Okay. Um, and we got two of them. Nice. Whoa. That was awesome. We got to do that again. That was so cool. Also have a screwdriver. Nice bright orange. You definitely won't lose that. And some screws. You never know when you're in need your screws. You don't want to get screwed. Here are your screws, guys. So I'll put those in there. Hopefully I won't lose them. And uh, here's another screw. Put that there too. And here's our instructions. These are probably extra blades. A's and then the B's. There you go. Pretty cool. All right, extra blades. Never know when you're gonna need those. Let's see here. Here's our instructions on how to put on the blades. So there's the blades. So it looks like we uh, just screw them in. This uh, HS175D uses brushless motors. Check out those lights, pretty cool looking lights. Okay, and website, store, lock, tap here to see the app in the store. All right, now we're going to the store. There's our app, we'll install it. And now I'm installing my HS GPS V5 install. So I'm installing my app now, there it goes. Yeah, all right, very nice, got my app being installed. I'm gonna hit OK and download. Okay, it has me. See how it's coming towards me? Whoa, it's following me. So it follows me within two meters. So if I walk over here, it should follow me. It should. Let's see if it follows or not. Yep, it's following. Okay, so we're gonna turn on our HS175D drone here. Turn on the controller. See it's red, go up, down. It's been linked and we see it's set to GPS mode with the red there. So let's go ahead and calibrate it. Go hit my calibrate button, hold it down. And there we go. Just turn this a few times until that yellow light starts blinking really quick. All right, well, I'll know that it's good. There, see it's blinking fast. Now I'm just gonna take it facing down, turn it a few times until that is and there you go our red buttons and now it is calibrated very nice now to calibrate the gyro just go to the left and there you go and now the gyro has been calibrated as well all right so i'm all set the gps is already set up i'm amazed at how fast that gps locks into the drone too pretty quick all right let's go ahead and uh, take off uh go up down and oh and off we go. There we go. Look at that. Nice. I love how it's nice and stable. Very stable. To change the speed, just press this button down like this. And now it's at a uh, much quicker speed. So here's uh, the faster speed. Here it comes. That's cool. Yeah, all right, so there you go. It'll keep on going, won't it? So, 
so that's a little bit of a concern. Now I am flying indoors. GPS doesn't work indoors. The drone knows that. So to fly indoors, I'm going to press my return to home button. And now it's got yellow. And now I can fly indoors. How cool is that? There you go. All right, let's go ahead and try uh, emergency braking. There you go. There's your emergency braking. And there you go. All right, let's try the uh, takeoff. Is that takeoff button? Oh, I don't know. I'll try it. Oh, there it is. There's my takeoff. Flies nice. Nice control. It's got a very nice feel to it, guys. Nice control. I like that. Look at that. Look how stable that is. That's without GPS. Not bad. So it's not too quick to stop though, is it? Look at that. It wants to keep going. So thanks for watching guys. I'm Tommy Drone. This was my review of the Holystone HS175. I do like this drone and I do recommend it to you as well. So check out the links below. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you all next time. I got more great drone videos on the way. Cool drone though. Flies nice. I like this.